because as you continue to grow, you almost like have a new lens to look at things with. Like Completely. it's just, you see it's things so differently, different. you process differently. And I'm just really excited to go into new things knowing what I know now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you read by the title, is an interview guest. You want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Danielle. I'm Holly's friend. Yay. Okay. She is from Connecticut. Yep. Connecticut friend. That's originally where I'm from. We will do a whole separate video on that. But in the meantime, let's just get into it. Okay. So are you nervous? A little bit. Okay. Answer as honestly as possible. Okay. All right. 20 questions. Okay. And I always skip a question. So this video, we are not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one. What do you love most about yourself and why? Um, well, I struggle with these types of things because I am working on my self-confidence, but I would have to say my determination. I think that Ooh. when I really um, commit or think about doing something, I commit to it. So as soon as I want to do something, that's all it takes. And then I just follow through. Oh, with, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Question number two, what is your biggest fear in life? <laughs> um, that's a heavy duty one. Okay. Um, I think that my biggest fear in life is like not making the right decision. So I'm very indecisive in general with mm -hmm. things and that's something that I need to work on, but, um, which is why we're here. Yeah. But I mean, it's part of the self-confidence thing that I struggle with, I think, you know, making decisions, but I just always am afraid, is this the right choice to make? Mm. Especially with things that you can't go back on. Yeah. And because time is so precious, like I'm always worried that, right. you know, you can't go back in time, but that's how you learn. Right. Is making decisions, even if it's the wrong one. Like yep. that's... It's so. a part of it all. Yeah. Question number three, what do you like to do when you are sad? Like, how do you handle those sad moments? Um, it depends why I'm sad. Like, and like if, what level of sadness you're on? Yeah, like mm -hmm. if it's just like I'm having a bad day type of sad, um, I'll get in the car, I'll play music, I'll go get mm -hmm. a nice coffee, I'll just like go down back roads just driving. But if I'm sad because of something heavier, like something's like going on, sad, yeah. yeah, then I really just keep to myself, honestly. Yeah. Because you I like feel like mellow in it by yourself. Yeah. Like I need the yeah. time to just sit alone and process. Yeah. Because right? if you don't, and then you just go about your life, like your routine, I mean, that's good to, to stay in that, but Correct. sometimes it makes you like bottle. Like you're suppressing Yeah. It. And you're then it comes really up later. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Adult things. Question number four. What are your top five physical features you like about yourself? I gotta do five? Yep. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Um is five too much? Do you think I should do three? Let's do five three. Too much? You wanna do three? Okay. Three okay. I can do. Okay. okay. We're gonna change it to three. What are your top three? Um, so first I would say my eyes. I feel like I'm pretty I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with them. Um, my second, strangely enough, would be my feet. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, I've okay. always kind of, you know, I've always had you got toe feet. rings and anklets because I like my feet. Yeah, I mean, they're not really, like, small, yeah, but, everybody like... everybody says I got baby feet. We almost got the same yeah, size foot. Yeah, my feet yeah. are pretty good. Um, and then for my third one, um, I guess I would have to say like my curves okay so i mean your overall shape yeah like okay. i'm i'm glad that for me if i want to put on weight i can and if i want to lose weight i can i'm not fully happy with where my body is but i think mm -hmm. that you know there's a lot of people that really really struggle with like putting weight on mm -hmm. and i'm recognizing that more as even though i'm always like oh, i wish i could lose like an extra 10 pounds right but there's so many people that are like i really wish i could put on an extra 10 pounds yeah. to have curves. So I'm trying right. to look at it that way. Wow. I'm really actually shocked you said that. Last I time. am too. I'm but, glad I'm here. <laughs> uh, yeah, trying to remember that. So, yeah. Okay. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So question number five, name two strengths and one weakness or flaw. Okay. Um, like personality wise. Yeah. Um, so my two strengths, I would say, um, 
I'm really organized. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm like overly organized. Like I make lists every day, all the time in my phone, on paper, at work, wherever I am. Mm -hmm. um, but it helps me, um, for one, when I get really anxious, it helps me to plan and to be organized. Right. But it just, I mean, it, I feel like it helps things run smoothly. But um, I mean, I already said earlier that I feel like I'm a hard worker. Um, I guess that I'm really, yeah. well, that too, so we could throw that in, but, um, okay. I think that I'm really thoughtful, like, I agree, yeah, yeah. I try really hard to, to, like, think of what would make somebody else happy, and, like, how I would like to be treated, yeah, and, you know, just little things, like, yeah, yeah, I think I'm good at being thoughtful, I think so too, yeah. okay, so it's, oh, and my flaw, yeah, um, so my flaw would probably be that I have, you know, a lot of self-doubt. Like, I doubt mm. myself all the time. Whenever I start something new, um, I'm always, like, immediately, oh, I can't do it. Or it's right. too hard. Or yeah. what if I fail? Or So, <laughs> yeah. I think of all the things that could go wrong instead of all the things that could go right. Right. So, immediately, I think, I think there's a name for that. I think it's called, like, catastrophic thinking or something. Yeah. Where oh. you just immediately think, Okay. I read no. that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, I really need to work on that because I become like my biggest, my own biggest obstacle. Yeah. Number six, what activities make you lose track of time? Mm, um, just being with friends and laughing and having a good time. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Um, yeah that's I mean, funny. I don't yeah. think it's one specific thing. I think it's just like being in the moment and having a good time and not, yeah. you know, just living. Yeah. You know? Gosh. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Question number seven. At this very moment, the time in your life right now, what are you most looking forward to? And can it could I, be anything. So can I say my future as a whole? Yeah. 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 So I think that I am... Um, you know, I'm really evolving. I keep saying this phrase, but like evolving as a person and it's true. So I've learned a lot in the last six months to a year. And I'm mm -hmm. just really excited that because as you continue to grow, you almost like have a new lens to look at things with. Like Completely. it's just, you see it's things so differently, different. you process differently. And I'm just really excited to go into new things, knowing what I know now. Yeah. The things that I've gone through. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay, question number eight. What have you learned from your parents that is important to you? Something maybe they taught you or have talked to you about? Like, it doesn't have to be too specific. Like, it can be specific, but it can be, like, general, too. So, growing up, I was kind of a brat. <laughs> um, like, in high school, middle school, high school, I was tough to deal with. Um, but I had a lot, a lot of emotions I didn't really process well. And mm. I, I mean, that's part of it for everyone, I think at that age, yeah. but, um, my dad always told me, we always had dinner as a family growing up. And my dad always told me like, mm. even if you had a bad day, do not bring it to the dinner table. Like we can talk Ooh. about your feelings, yeah, but don't be like snippy and take it out on, on anyone else. Like check that shit. So be at the mindful. Door. Yeah, yeah. Like just. About yeah, you, okay. I mean, you can't take out your bad day on people that you care about, people that yeah. you love. And I think that I, you know, remember that at work or like yeah. with someone I'm in a relationship with. Like I can't take out what I'm going through on somebody else. And I feel like I learned that one the hard way. So that's really good. Yeah. Maybe I should write that down for the twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, number nine. What is one thing you would change about the world or society and why? So it would be either or. So this one is easy for me. I think a lot of people I'm sure would put like they want less violence and more peace in the world. And of course I want those things. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the biggest things that like our society struggles with right now is a lot of people are really um, like egocentric like Ooh. with social media and everything yeah. everyone is trying to post something to like show that you know and everyone talks about it's like a highlight reel with, yeah. with social media mm -hmm. they want to show like especially like instagram yeah like yeah. really good pictures and that's good to boost <clears throat> your self-confidence but also i think that maybe without even realizing it people are just competing and like yeah. you know comparison isn't there a phrase like um comparison is the biggest thief of joy or something yeah. like that 
And I know that a lot of people really struggle with just comparing based on social media, but I think that's a, that's a huge problem. People yeah. are so into themselves that they lose track of like life and what's really important yeah like yeah. people go on vacations and they're more concerned with spending hours to take the perfect picture yeah or even at a restaurant and i mean those are good things it's good to have memories but yeah. if, if it's taking away from you living your life yeah. because you want to get the right look for other people to see is right. it for you to see or for other people to see like right. those things i just think it's you know i would like to go I wish we could go back to a time like when we grew yeah. up and we didn't have to worry about that stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, like social media was not yeah. a thing. It and wasn't. And there's pros and cons, don't get me yeah. wrong. I don't like hate social media. As a photographer media. and me trying to build my photography business, I look for the art behind a picture. Yeah. So when I take a picture, I kind of want like some artsy style to it. So that that part in itself takes me time yeah yeah but so but then there's like taking pictures in an authentic way mm -hmm. and taking pictures that's like super fish you know what i mean oh, so yeah, i just yeah, think yeah, there's a huge right. difference you know so that that's a good one that's a yeah. good answer thanks mm. okay question number 10 what are you most grateful for my family and friends mm. i mean i feel like that's a lot of people say that but it's so true and i have for sure so many opportunities in life because I have such a good support system around me. Like mm -hmm. I feel confident enough to take chances because I know if I fall, people are going to be there for me. Yeah. You know? So yeah. and a lot of people don't have that. They're just, they feel right. stuck because they're not fortunate enough to have people in their corner. Mm. So I think I would answer that the same way. Friends and family, a whole support system can really take yes. you for like further than you need. Of course. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, question number 11. If you could have dinner with anyone, whether they're dead or alive right now, who would it be and why? Um, so this is kind of an emotional answer. Ooh, okay. So hopefully I don't get too emotional, which I am good at composing usually, but. But if you do, it's okay. Yeah, we so real on here. you know that one of my ex-boyfriends was killed in a car accident. Mm. He probably would be, stops. yeah, who I would have a um, dinner yeah, with because we were different people 10 years ago when we were dating, we were in a relationship and I always felt like an energetic connection with him. Mm -hmm. Like even though we were so different as people, like there was something that just pulled us together. Like yeah. there was just that attraction. And I think when we were together and we were in a relationship, we both were still figuring out ourselves mm -hmm. and I still am, you know, but I think that now that I've learned a lot of things and I've kind of just gained just so much more knowledge and wisdom and stuff about life. Yeah. It would be really interesting to talk to him now as me as a different person. Yeah. And him would, you know, would be a different person too. It would just be really mm -hmm. cool. Question number 12. If your life was a novel, what would the title be? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my, if my life was a novel, I think the title would be it's part of the process. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, I just came up with that. Um, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I, it would be okay. it's part of the process because, you know, everything that you go through literally is part of the process. Like, yeah. you have to go through everything you go through so that you can learn and grow. And, I mean, that's the common theme here. Yeah. This talk, but it's true. Of course. <laughs> it's very true. That's a good, wow. That is a really good Thank one. you. Okay. Question number 13, if you had to be stuck in only two seasons, which two seasons would they be? You mean like the, fo the four like, seasons? Yep, like, like yeah. spring, so, summer, fall, winter? Uh, I love fall. Oh, now, but, okay, so mind you, she doesn't live in South Carolina. She yeah. lives in Connecticut. So Way their different. winters are different from our winters. Yeah, I would definitely Well, I guess all winter. of them are different yeah. from ours, too, so... Yeah, I mean, our summers are probably not as intense as yours. Yeah, I feel like ours get real hot. Real tense. Real hot. Um, <laughs> real hot and tense. But yeah, no, I would pick fall and summer. Mm. Fall I love because it's like, it's the change of seasons. Do your leaves all drop, obviously, right? In yeah. Fall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just had to make sure for yeah. one moment. But no, I really like that. Cool down, change of seasons after yeah. the summer. Where it's not too hot, not too cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the summer, obviously. I just feel like everyone's in a good mood for the most part in the summer. Yeah, Kids are on school break. You know, it's 
more time by the beach or lake or pool or whatever. It's yeah. just more like, kind more of relaxed. Like focus. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you have time to do it. I think so. Question number 14. What is your biggest pet peeve? So I think I would say being cocky, like over conceited to the point where you think that you're better than somebody else. Mm. Like confidence is great. Right. And it, um, you know, it literally makes people seem and look like different people. If you have, if you see someone that's totally confident, you feel like your energy is more comfortable around them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they just seem like more attractive to you regardless. Yeah. And confidence is great. That's not what I mean. Right. But um, being cocky is just... When it's just too much confidence, yeah. as you said, you think you're better than me. It's yeah. annoying, for one, but it also <laughs> makes people uneasy. Like, yeah. they feel, then they start to question their self-worth or yeah. their, um, you know, they think that they're less than, especially if someone's making you feel like that, obviously. It's mm -hmm. just... Especially around people who aren't even confident at to all. To begin with. Yeah. Yeah. So... It can be overpowering. I do not like that, yeah. Okay, question number 15. What makes you anxious? What does most? <laughs> what does it? Um, the most that sticks out. Okay. Trying new things. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I really want to do that more. Change. Yeah, change. That's probably a change. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, could that be the same thing? Same thing. Same thing. Um, pretty much the same. I mean, change that, ha that I haven't gone through before. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so yeah okay. new things. I just think that... You, because you don't know what, you can't plan for it. Yeah. You but, don't know, and you know I'm a planner. Yeah. You're a planner too. Yeah. Like, you can't plan for things if you've never really, you can prepare, but you yeah. can't plan. And I, like I feel to like you be prepared. Yeah, and you lose I try to be. some of that, like, control. Yeah. You know? So it's just, it's scary, but it's good. And being uncomfortable is when you grow the, the most. most. Yeah. So you have to get do. out of your comfort zone. Right. Yeah, to grow. Mm. Oh, I got like goosies. Love this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number 16, what does your ideal future self look like? Uh, happy, mm. successful, mm. content. Um, I don't, I can't really picture, you know, what my life will look like career wise or like where I'll be living or any mm. of those things. But I just think being more, just less worried about things in general, yes. you know, just like, That's a good goal. yeah. Just being, just going with the flow a little bit more. We right? gotta hang out more with Becca. Yeah, we do. So she can rub off. She'll on help us. us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Question number seventeen. If you could spend one day in someone else's shoes, who would it be? So like a Freaky Friday moment where y'all switch. Hmm. It's a good one. Yeah, that is it's a, a tough fun one. one. I mean, obviously, I feel like everyone or a lot of people will say a celebrity so that like money isn't an option and they can go and do whatever. But I think that I would really like to, I, you know, in life, I would like to travel and that's one of my goals. Ooh. Like I really would love to travel, not just like in the United States, but, but other uh, countries too, yeah. because I want to see beautiful things, but also, um, see different ways of life yes like that makes, different ways of living yeah, yeah that makes you just appreciate. more understanding appreciate yeah mm -hmm. it's i mean i would like to tr to trade with someone that's traveled a lot because i feel like their outlook and their perspective on things is just much broader than somebody that's been like my circle has been connecticut my whole life yeah you know what i mean like i i've gone i've been here i've been to like new york right. florida like different states but um you want to go out, out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Experience different things. And that would be fun. Yeah. It would be cool to, to switch with someone that has been other places and see how they think. Mm. Process things. Wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Question number 18. If money wasn't an option, what would you do with your life? Like if you didn't need it? Um, I think that I would run a business of sorts um Ooh. yeah because i like the freedom of being able to do what i want to do with my days but still right. like something that keeps me um focused and keeps me holds me accountable yeah you know because that's when i think that i really 
do my best as a person. Like that helps keep my anxiety down. Too. Right. Like when I have stuff to do and focus. Yeah, on, yeah. It keeps me concentrated. So I really would want to run a business. I don't know what it would be, but um, that's just so cool. be a yeah a boss. Mm. Be a boss. We love a boss. Yes. Tip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we love a boss. Question number nineteen. What does self-care and self-love mean to you? Uh, so obviously the ones like, you know, pampering yourself and all that are important. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, whether it be going to get your nails done or your hair done and all that is part of like regular self-care. Mm -hmm. But I think also like taking the time to think like, what would I, how would I take care of myself Char if I was dating myself? Character wise. Are you talking about character wise? What mm -hmm. do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, um, <laughs> okay, so self-care, self-love, like, oh, well, I want to show myself love, so let me do a mask, or let me journal and really yeah. ask myself, how do so, I feel? Yeah, so like, surface level, and then, like, d deeper than Character, that. Yeah, like, within yeah, yourself. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. yes. I think that you really, journaling is good, that's huge for self-care. Right. Because um, it helps you to reflect and think about things differently. Even mm -hmm. if you're just putting your thoughts down on paper, it helps you to process them whether you realize it or not. Right. Yeah, so journaling mm -hmm. really is, I mean, it's powerful. Like, it, it mm -hmm. helps you process things, it helps you stay focused on things. Uh, mm -hmm. But like I said, I really think that thinking about what you would be doing to take care of yourself if you... Literally, it's weird to think about, but if you were in a relationship with yourself, right? Like, what would I do to like make myself have a better day? Like, right? And just because, not just when you're feeling down, but like do all it. the time. Yes. Yeah, that's that way when it is bad and you're having you one know of what those to down do. days, yeah, you, it's not so scary because you know how to handle it. Yeah. Um, and I also have a journaling prompt video, so I will link that above. Okay, <gasps> is that it? Wow, we're on the last question. Last one. Okay, last one. Number 20. If a doctor only gave you five years left to live, what would you do? <laughs> hmm. Um, I mean... It's I, hard, I right? feel like, yeah, I feel that I, for the most part, try to do that now. Now? Yeah. Like, I try to think, okay, you know, what do I want to do to be happy? What... Because you you never know how much time you really right. have or when you won't have chances to do certain things. So, I mean, if I was told that for sure, I only had five years left, right. I would stop putting things off. Mm -hmm. If I want to go somewhere, book a trip, make it work. If I want to try something new, put it on paper because as soon as you commit to something, um, for me, as soon as I write it down or schedule it, then mm -hmm. I don't have the chance to say, okay, you know what, I'll wait another couple months or right. I'll do it later. Like you it makes, it holds you accountable. Right. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I just okay. would do whatever I want to do. I mean, it's and easier. Just be like, yep, yeah. I'm said than done. But yeah, I would hope that that's what I would do. Just do whatever I feel like doing and mm. no apologies and sorry if it, sorry, not sorry. If I was it, about to say sorry, not sorry. Right? <laughs> sorry, not sorry if it affects my job or anything. Right. Just living for me. You. Yeah. That's what matters. And people I love, of course. Right. No. We, we love that. Yeah. Scoot your butt in. You're oh. too far out of frame. There we go. <laughs> okay. Somehow I'm my yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how do you feel after that? Good. You feel different? Yeah. You feel like I feel like that was like a journaling, like, because I've been journaling. And yeah. I actually did that journaling prompt that you sent you me. You did? Yes. Was I'm it a good one? I'm almost done. I yeah. Do a couple a day. It helps me to really think and reflect. But yeah. Yeah, because some of them can get quite deep. lengthy and deep. Yeah. And you lose yourself. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Right. But yeah. That's the whole good. point of this channel. Yes. We are changing, okay? Mm -hmm. Growth. Yes. Oh, thanks for coming on my channel. Thank you. I'm so excited. Me too. All right. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, we're rolling? Yep, okay. we're rolling. I can just edit it out or put it in a blooper. Okay. Yep, yep. That's how we go. All right. There we go. Perfect. Okay, okay ready? Okay. Yeah, you feel good? Yep. Okay. Um, hold on. Oh, I'm shaking the camera with my foot on the floor. <laughs> I probably was too. Shit. Moving. Shoot. I mean, dang it. Okay, so keep my feet still. Um, okay. Um, okay, so.
um, whether you realize it or not. Journaling. Hmm. That's a good one. That is a good I'm gonna one. have to edit some time out. You want yeah, to we're going to have to. Yeah, I need a sip. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Can you see why I slid my drink down on the table? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so heavy handed. Hmm. I th does, does Becca have that same question? Um, I don't know. I think she, I think does. she does. I think she, I think I wrote that down. Yeah, I, think I she did. Does. Yeah. Yep. So I put you in yours. All right. Next page. And what are we at? Oh wow, 17 minutes. Is that good? Yeah, That's hell good. yeah. That's really good. Okay. Question number four. Let, hold, on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm not skipping on questions because I have done that before. Okay, cool. Hopefully I don't do it in Becca's either. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, man. Well, look at that. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Now I got confidence. Becca's is going to go quick, too. Mm hmm. Got a whole 27 minutes in. Yay. Now we gotta do the outro and take thumbnails. Okay. All right, guys, don't forget to stay tuned for my next guest. She will be here within two seconds of our time, mm -hmm. but you know, a couple weeks within your time. <laughs> Yay! Thumbnail time. Oh. Wait. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to go. <laughs> She's leaving me. She's running. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do something like this. Okay. Oh, sit a little closer. Yep, there we go. And then we're gonna look at the camera roll too. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at my brown, pink, rose gold hair with your blonde. It looks good together. Well, you look really red on camera. I do. It's because you're tan. It is. The, I hope it's so. Tan. Okay. Now let's face this way. Okay. I like to get options yep. just in case one so. doesn't work. And then when I do these, I'm gonna send y'all. Oh no. It's like, um, princess. I wish I had a color before I came here. Oh. <laughs> okay, then we'll do this one. Looking at the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I hope one of those work out. I hope so, too. <laughs> it's gonna have to. Cut.